this exercise, we'll practice switching between an open C chord and an E5 power chord. We're going to be keeping our strum fairly simple here to focus on the transitions. Here's what it sounds like. So simply, we're playing a bar of E5 and then a bar of C. Those two measures are going to repeat five times total when we play the exercise together. With our strum, we're playing two quarter notes going down, down on beats one and two. And then on beat three, we're going to play a half note. Three, four, four. So it's going to last two beats there. And then same over the C chord. One, two, three, four. All down strum. We want to make sure over G5, we're just hitting those low E and A strings and muting the rest of the strings. We can use our first finger with our fret hand. And then over the C chord, we want to make sure and hit strings five down. Let's try it together. On E5, we're going to play this five times through. One, two, three, four. Down, down, down to C. One, two. Back to E5. Two, three, four to C. Two, three, four. Let's go three more times here. C. One, two, three, four. Low E and A strings. And then strings five down. One, two, three. Let's go one more time here. E5. Four. One, two, three, four. Great job. Keep drilling those chord transitions, and we'll see you in the next one. In this exercise, we'll practice switching between an open C chord and an E5 power chord. We're going to be keeping our strum fairly simple here to focus on the transitions. Here's what it sounds like. So simply, we're playing a bar of E5 and then a bar of C. Those two measures are going to repeat five times total when we play the exercise together. With our strum, we're playing two quarter notes going down, down on beats one and two. And then on beat three, we're going to play a half note. Three, four, so it's going to last two beats there. And then same over the C chord. One, two, three, four, all down strum. We want to make sure over the E5, we're just hitting those low E and A strings and muting the rest of the strings. We can use our first finger with our fret hand. And then over the C chord, we want to make sure and hit strings five down. Let's try it together. On E5, we're going to play this five times through. One, two, three, four. Down, down, down to C. One. job. Keep drilling those chord transitions and we'll see you in the next one. We're going to be playing the opening riff to True Colors by Cyndi Lauper. Here's what it sounds like. So we'll be playing a phrase on the higher strings that repeats. Let's learn that first. 
So take your fourth finger, put it on the first string third fret, and then pluck it with your third finger. Now play the open second string with your first finger. Now do the second string first fret and pluck with your second finger. Then we're going back to the first string third fret with our third finger. And that keeps repeating. So you've got repeat. Repeat again. But to resolve it, we're going to go to the third string second fret and strike that with your first finger. So these are all eighth notes. One and two and three. Now for the bass line, we're gonna go to the fifth string and use our thumb. So you're gonna play the open fifth string on beat one. So one, two, then go to the second fret with your second finger for three, three, four, then use your third finger on the fifth string third fret and on one again. One, two, three, four. Let's take a look at that riff from over my shoulder. So get set. So let's put that together. So we're gonna start here, nice and slow. Go to the second fret. Now third fret. And resolve. So let's play that one more time. We're going to add a little bit of timing to it this time around. So get set and I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. Repeat that. And now you know how to play the riff. We're going to be playing the opening riff to True Colors by Cyndi Lauper. Here's what it sounds like. So we'll be playing a phrase on the higher strings that repeats. Let's learn that first. So take your fourth finger, put it on the first string third fret, and then pluck it with your third finger. Now, play the open second string with your first finger. Now do the second string first fret and pluck with your second finger. Then we're going back to the first string third fret with our third finger. And that keeps repeating. So you've got... Repeat. again but to resolve it we're going to go to the third string second fret and strike that with your first finger so these are all eighth notes one and two and three the bass line we're going to go to the fifth string and use our thumb so you're going to play the open fifth string on beat one so one two then go to the second fret with your second finger for three 
three, four. Then use your third finger on the fifth string third fret and on one again. One, two, three, four. Let's take a look at that riff from over my shoulder. So get set. So let's put that together. So we're gonna start here, nice and slow. Now go to the second fret. Now third fret. And resolve. So let's play that one more time. We're gonna add a little bit of timing to it this time around. So get set, and I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. Let's repeat that. 